If your TV or monitor displays no signal even when your PS5 is connected to it, or when your PlayStation 5 is connected, your monitor or TV shows no signal or no HDMI, then I'll share some troubleshooting process with you that will fix any PlayStation 5 HDMI or display issues. First, make sure that your PlayStation 5 is connected to power. Now, if you're a TV user or are using a HDMI switcher, then make sure that the source is selected to your PS5. Even after selecting the source, if your PS5 still doesn't show anything, then make sure that the HDMI cable you're using is connected properly and not damaged. You can try switching to a different HDMI port, and if you're using a TV, it's recommended that you connect your PS5 through the eARC port. Also, if you have an extra HDMI cable, try switching it and check if it's the cable that's causing this issue. If you are using anything like an HDMI switcher, you can also try plugging the HDMI cable directly to your TV. If you are still having issues and your PS5 is not posting, then the next thing we'll do is cold boot our console and our TV or monitor. To do that, you just need to turn off all the devices and disconnect them from power, wait for about 5 minutes, then connect them back. After that, you should see your PS5 display properly. If the issue persists, then in the next step, disconnect all the other HDMI devices that's connected to your monitor or TV. Sometimes other devices may malfunction, which may result in your PS5 not connecting to the display properly. After following all these steps, if it still didn't fix it for you and your PS5 screen isn't showing and you're still getting no signal or no HDMI error, then we will boot our PS5 into safe mode and reset its resolution. To do that, first turn off your PlayStation 5 if it's turned on. Hold down the power button until you hear two beeps. Then wait for your PlayStation 5's LED to go out. And when your PlayStation 5 turns off, we will press and hold the power button again until we hear the second beep. Now your PS5 should boot in safe mode. If you don't see anything on your TV screen, you may need to select the source manually. After that, connect your DualSense controller using the USB cable and press the PS button. Now using the D-pad, we will go to change video output and press X. Then we will go to change resolution. After hitting OK, your PS5 will restart in low resolution and hopefully you are seeing your PS5's display right now. And from there, I suggest you to select automatic or if you know your TV's resolution, select that one. So let's press the PS button again to turn on our controller and then press X. And as you can see, this has fixed it for us. But unfortunately, if it didn't work for you, then it may be a hardware issue and you should contact Sony support for further assistance. Let us know which one worked for you down below, and if you got something else, do share it with everyone. Until next time, good games.